Hi and good morning and welcome to another Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at an artist called Anna Kulicek and she does a thing called nature fashion. Basically she holds up a photograph of a person with a hole cut in it in front of different scenes in nature and creates these ama amazing um, fashion things. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and do that um, working in Photoshop without going anywhere using photos we've already taken to create a similar effect. Okay, so I'll just minimize that. In Photoshop, you can see I have got a photograph of me holding a piece of paper. I've got a photograph of a man, or me in this case, standing there. I've got a picture of some flowers. As you know, I really like taking pictures of flowers. That's what my thing, nature of flowers. And so first of all, we're going to get the person from here and put it onto the paper. So to do that, we will draw a box over the person. We will go edit, copy, click on the paper, paper, and go edit, paste. There is the person on the paper. Now we need to do a lot of resizing and rescaling at the moment. We're going to twist it and turn it so it looks like it's standing at slight angle. And we'll press enter. There we have the man on the piece of paper. Now, obviously, we don't want all this background, so we can zoom in a little bit, and we are going to use the lasso tool to very carefully go around the person. Now this takes a little while. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Photo editing is not a race. Obviously, we want to make this video fun. Now, when we get to the edge, we need to, uh aha, -huh. let's do that again. Make sure you've got the whole thing in the frame. Start that again. Go around the person. Now, one of the great things about photo editing is it's like a digital collage. So what you could do with a pair of scissors and a piece of paper and some glue, you can do in Photoshop in a very similar way. I was probably like making digital collages. It's all about having the ideas. If we use the artist researchers to give us ideas, that's a really good starting point to then develop our own work. And what I find is, imagining that this is a pair of scissors, I'm cutting around the shapes that I want to keep, doing it really carefully. Now there are other ways, you can use a quick select tool, you can use a magnetic lasso tool, you could even use the eraser and rub out the area, but I've always been a fan of just going around things carefully with the lasso tool. And I'll show you what we'll do if we make a few little errors in a minute. So there we go, we've got my man. It's a simple question of clicking on the layer with the man on. Right, edit, copy, edit, paste. You'll now see over here on my layers, I've got two pictures with a man on. The top one is the one I just cut out. There it is. And you can see that we no longer need the other one. So to make things easier, we're just going to bin it over into the corner. Now, you notice there was a few little errors around here. I'm going to make this video really, really perfect today. So we're going to use the eraser tool. At the moment, it is huge, and it's a soft edge. I want a hard edge rubber. and make it quite small, smaller than that. And some people will spend hours. We're going to zoom in till we get to the pixels. If we use the space bar, we can then move, move around and find the little area so we can go in whoa wrong layer click on the right layer remember that so it's the layer with the picture on and just go around just carefully making sure we've got all the pieces that we don't want rubbed out now we're working on quite a low res image because it's going to be quite a small final piece this little area in here would be great, so we'll bring the rubber down to an even smaller size. Even smaller than that, you can actually type in a number here, or type two, 
This is two pixels wide, this rubber now. I'm going to take out these pixel by pixel to create the gap in there. Zoom down, there's a few more bits to tidy up here. And there's a few bits around here to tidy up. I'll zoom out again by pressing Ctrl minus on the keyboard. And you can see, there I am, holding a picture of a picture. Now, you'll notice in the artist's work that the figure was in black and white. One of our favorite things to do. So we're going to make adjustments. Black and white. Click OK. Now it's like I'm holding a photocopy of myself. Now, this is where the fun starts to happen. At the moment, we've got the man on here. We need to make the fashion with the background images. So to do that, if we bring in one of my flower photographs into the background, so we're going to do the same thing with this. We're just going to take a part of it here, edit, copy, and then we're going to go to this one, which is our work, and we're going to go edit, paste. Now it's a much bigger file size, so we're going to shrink it down to how we want it to fit. And we're going to place this underneath the man, and you'll see the man standing in front of it. We we'll place it behind this layer. We have to place the padlocks. So we put it at the bottom of the layer. So this is now we're going to come to the background. This layer here, we need to start to erase all the pieces that we don't want. Now, I find in this situation, because we've got a bright, strong, contrasting piece of color, this is where the magic wand comes into its own. So if we click on the white part, and I'll make the tolerance a bit lower, right, a bit higher. Let's have a look. If we go to 70, will that be high enough? Yes, we've got all the white area. Now we also need the hand, so we're going to click on Shift on the keyboard and click on, no, too much, Control D. So we're going to click on this. We're going to switch over to the Quick Select tool, make it smaller and add in the hand, make it a bit smaller still. Do you want the finger as well? Now we don't want this little piece here, so we use the minus to get rid of that. So now you can see we've selected, hopefully, every bit of the hand and paper. So we're gonna go over to this layer. We've selected it, we've used the magic wand and the quick select tool combined. We did that by pressing shift in between. We then got rid of part of it using the minus. So we've got all the bits we want flashing. We go to the move tool, we click to the layer, we do edit, copy, edit, paste. You now see we have got the paper and the man in front of the background. So we don't need that layer anymore. Remember, we're doing it like a digital collage, so we're cutting pieces out. Now, this is where it gets a bit exciting we need to stick the man onto the layer with the background to do that we're going to merge two layers together we're going to click on shift click on the layer one and layer two we're going to go right click and we're going to merge layers which is down here you can now see we've just got one layer with the hand and the picture on it so therefore when we zoom in a bit if we then remove the suit and make the suit the fashion, we will use our quick select tool this time because it's strong contrasting colors. We will click on it. The whole clothes and not the hands are now selected. Okay. We are going to press backspace on the keyboard. Boom. There it goes. Press control D. We're going to zoom out slightly. And now we are going to move the image around to think, well, where would the best piece of fashion for this person's outfit go? That looks pretty cool. 
happy with that. So I'll go file, save as. I will call it Nature Fashion One. And I will save it as a Photoshop file and click OK. Now, what's so lovely about this concept is we've got this bit. We can put it in front of anything. So I've got a lovely picture of a sunflower that I took the other day. We'll do the same thing. We'll get our copy and paste. So we're going to edit, copy it. Go on to our Nature Fashion one. We're going to press edit, paste. It's again, it's a very big image. So we're going to just squeeze it down into the right size. And then... We'll put it where we want it. And at the moment, it's on top, so we'll bring it underneath. And boom, there's our man, there's our fashion. We could then click on the layer with the hand on it, move it around, where we'd make some cool clothes with it. That would look quite funky. Look at those shoes. Bring it down slightly, just about there. And then we're going to go File, Save As. Nature fashion number two. Click OK and then we're going to do one more. Now, I'll show you a quick trick before we bring the file over. If we look at the file size of this, we go image, image size, we can see it's 10 centimeters high by 8 centimeters. To save us some time, when we bring this one over, if we go image, image size and we make it 10 centimeters high, when we bring it over, and I'll just zoom in a bit. Remember, we're working on a low-res image today. When we bring this over, so we're going to go Edit, Copy, Control-V. You see, it's already a smaller size because we've resized it first. We'll make that fill the screen. And then we will swap that order over. And where would be a good place to position this? Would be, that looks quite groovy. Have a look here. I'm thinking about there, like I've got the yellow bits on my knees. Perfect. Okay, so we'll go File, Save As, Nature Fashion, Free. Now, you can imagine, you can do this technique with a lot of different photographs to create lots of different versions. So let's have a quick look through. We've got version 3, version 2, version 1. Instantly, lots of different responses and different photographs, different effects. I hope you've enjoyed watching this how-to Photoshop video. Um, if you did enjoy watching it, obviously subscribe to Print Cup for Nature of Flowers and um, look forward to another video later on. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Bye.